Pipe A and C are fill pipes while pipe B is a drain pipe of a tank. Pipe B empties the full tank in one hour less than the time taken by pipe A to fill the empty tank. When pipes A, B and C are turned on together, the empty tank is filled in two hours. Okay. So pipe A is a fill pipe A hours. Pipe B is a drain pipe A minus one hours. This is a drain pipe. Pipe C, let's say C hours. When pipes A, B and C are turned on together, empty tank is filled in two hours. So 1 by A minus 1 by A minus 1 plus 1 by C is equal to 1 by 2. Some equation in A, A minus 1 and C. If pipes B and C are turned on together when the tank is empty and pipe B is turned off after 1 hour and pipe C takes another 1 hour 15 minutes to fill the movement time. So pipe B is kept open for 1 hour minus 1 by A minus 1. Pipe C takes another 1 hour 15 minutes to fill the remaining tank. If pipes B and C are turned on together, so pipe B has been kept open for 2 hours and 15 minutes to 1 by 4 hours. So plus 2.25 by C is equal to 1. If pipe A can fill the empty tank in less than 5 hours, then the time taken in minutes by pipe C to fill the empty tank is nice. So this is an equation in A and C, this is an equation in A and C, but because all these reciprocals are involved, I think it's going to be a complicated, painful process. But hey, let's let's wing it. Minus 1 by A minus 1 plus 2.25 by, by C equal to 1. So B is kept open for 1 hour, C is kept open for 2 hours and 15 minutes, and then the tank gets filled. So 2.25 by C is 1 plus 1 by A minus 1, 2.25 by C, 9 by 4 C is 1 plus 1 by A minus 1, this is A minus 1 plus 1 by A minus 1 is 9 by 4 C or 4 C by 9 is A minus 1 by A or C is 9 by 4 times A minus 1 by A. I am going to plug it back into the first equation 1 by A minus 1 by A minus 1 plus 1 by C. We could have kept it in terms of 1 by C. So we can say 1 by C is 4 by 9 times A by A minus 1. Thank you. 1 by a minus 1 by a minus 1, 1 by a minus 1 by a minus 1 plus 1 by c is 4 by 9 times a by a minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2. That, that whole unit fills it in 2 hours. Pain when I got, I started doing all this and I suddenly lost my confidence and said look this is too much, too complicated, seems to be some weird equations emerging, but you take the LCM, it should, it should simplify. LCM is A by A minus 1, so it is A minus 1 by A times A minus 1 minus A by A times A minus 1 plus 4 A square by 9 times A times A minus 1 equals 1 by 2. This is 9 times a times a minus 1 here, put a 9 here, put a 9 here, 9 times, 9 times. 9a minus 9, minus 9a that disappears, minus 9 plus 4a square into 2 equals 9a times a minus 1. So, 8a square minus 18 is 9a square minus 9a. You can take it this side, a square minus 9a plus 18 equal to 0, a minus 3 into a minus 6 equal to 0. A takes either 3 hours or 6 hours, but the question says a can fill the empty tank in less than 5 hours. So a should take only 3 hours. Now we have a beautiful equation for finding C, put A equal to 3, we will get this 
c equals 9 by 4 times 2 by 3. This is 2. 3 by 2 hours, hopefully that's there among our choices. 3 by 2 hours is 1 and a half hours, 90 minutes should be there. Yep, this is the answer. It's nice. I, I won't say it's a simple question, it's an elaborate question. We deal with A, A minus 1 and C. And then keep form two different equations. Solving, take expression of C in terms of A and plug it into the other one. Solve the quadratic, get A, then go to C. Elaborate question, not, not easy. Gosh.